If you're looking to add external users to your SharePoint site so that you can collaborate, you're in the right place. I'm going to show you all the very simple steps to doing so, so let's get into it. So right here from your home page on SharePoint, you're gonna go over to the right hand side and look for the gear icon and you're gonna look for site permissions. This will allow you to manage who has access to your site. So let's go to advanced permission settings and the next page that opens, you'll be able to add an external user from here. So you'll see there is a list of all of the names of the sites as well as the type of member groups you can go ahead and click on grant permissions on the top left and here you want to enter a name or an email address. Now you'll enter a name if you've got the contact on your SharePoint account, but if you're looking just for an email address, you can go ahead and just dial in the email address as such. From here, you can include a personal message. So we can just say, hi, Bob, welcome to the team. All right, we can now click on show options here. You can send an email invitation. All right, so this will be selected automatically if you've added an email, but if you've just added a person's name, then you'll have the option to not send it via email, but send it via internally on SharePoint. So here you're gonna go and select the permission level. You can choose what sort of access this person has all the way from uh, full, Control to only design, edit, contribute, read, or restricted view. So you can go and choose what this person will have, and you can click on share. This person will now be added. Welcome, Bob. You are now part of our SharePoint team on How to Harbor. You'll see this list over here, and you can also create groups. If you create a group and you add members into the group, you can add many people to your SharePoint site at once.